We haven't talked much about geography, but oh. uh, I was lucky enough with my family to, to live and, and teach for a year at BYU's Jerusalem Center. Wow. And, uh, and one, of our, one of our colleagues there posed this question when we first got to the country. Um, they said, uh, why do you think the Lord or our Father in Heaven chose this place as the place where they wanted uh, his son to be born, to have his mortal life. And why, why this, the place? Mm. And I, what, what, what is it about this geography? What is it about this climate? What is it about this land that, that helped bear testimony of him, that helped uh, him accomplish his mortal ministry? And so understanding some of just the, the geography, the climate, the topography, uh, understanding what it means to go up to Jerusalem and down to Jericho when you study the the story of the Good Samaritan, or, mm -hmm. or as you follow the Savior's journeys, or you go down to you know the River Jordan where the Savior uh, would have been baptized by John. Uh, understanding geography and topography and just those kinds of things for me make the text come alive. And I think there, I think there is really something powerful about place. And I have the opportunity to work with the historic sites of the church, and there's something special about these places, right? There's something um, spiritual about the places where heaven has touched the mm -hmm. earth. Right where God has interacted, and I and and I don't think we actually have to walk those places. I mean, th that's great if we can. Right. So we've tried to do things like virtual tours right. and provide them in other ways. But I think even pictures and film can take us to those places <laughs> and help us feel a sense of that place. And I think places do testify. Well, and I, I think even our own Latter Day Saint versions of Scripture have that with you know. Yeah modern pictures of yeah. of mm -hmm. the places and, and uh, historically accurate maps. And yeah. so the Bible resources themselves, the, the, the topical guide, the Bible dictionary, the maps, the, all of those things I think are remarkable resources that can help get to this better understanding the text by knowing context. Mm -hmm.